The FBI and other top intelligence and cyber officials detailing what they say is an attempt by Iran to sow discord and influence the outcome of the presidential election. They say in late June, early July, Iranian militia cyber actors who had obtained stolen material from the Trump campaign sent parts of it in unsolicited emails to people associated with the then Biden campaign. Since then, officials say they've also tried sending it to American media organizations. The former president reacting to the news Wednesday night. Iran hacked into my campaign. I don't know what the hell they found. I'd like to find out. Couldn't have been too exciting. But they gave it to the Biden campaign. I can't believe it. Oh, yes, I can. The officials say there is currently no information indicating those recipients replied. A spokesperson for the Harris campaign says a few individuals were targeted on their personal emails with what looked like a spam or phishing attempt. We condemn in the strongest terms any effort by foreign actors to interfere in U.S. elections, including this unwelcome and unacceptable malicious activity. Unfortunately, officials have been anticipating this kind of meddling. The intelligence community says Iran believes the 2024 election is particularly consequential to its own national security interests. Foreign targeting of our political parties remains a serious concern. Russia and China included. Officials say they view elections as vulnerable times for the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Mark Warner says their efforts will ramp up the closer we get to Election Day. Disinformation and deep fakes online are some of their biggest tools. We need the public to be more concerned. As much division as there is in our politics, Warner and other officials say one thing Americans should agree on is foreign actors should have no role in the outcome of U.S. elections. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.